at Suncorp in Brisbane. Rain falling consistently, albeit lightly. Steve Roach, an update on the, the injury to Darren Lockyer. Yeah, good news for Lockyer. He's got concussion, but he has moved back onto the bench. And what the Kiwis have got to be careful of now is not to allow Australia to score back-to-back -back tries. Well, we're up against a 9-2 penalty count at the moment. But, you know, all these penalties, their discipline is terrible in New Zealand. They're defending well because they've had to make 20 more tackles than the Australians, but you can't keep giving away penalties like that. Kearns. 8-0 Australia. And Webke. Johns. Four now. Struggling his way further down the ground. Both sides starting to tire. And there's more yards on offer. Walters looking around. To the right he goes to his captain. Then for Menzies. Slowly but surely getting wider. That's where he loves to be. Darren Smith. Langer. Pulling that kick high. The Chasers have got plenty of time. But you're dealing with Matthew Ridge back there. He's not too many better under pressure. Puppy. Ridge. One of the great number ones of all time. Certainly one of the great goal kickers. Poppy. That's Eichen in four to in Renoff in three. Completion rate. 16 out of 20. The Aussies. Not so good, the Kiwis. Penalty goes to the black and white side. That's great stuff. 16 from 20. I didn't realise that it was going to be that high. Gene Namu comes up with a good kick. Nice touch. 42 out. Now, New Zealand somehow have got to get some quality possession. They've got to get a couple of sets of six in a row. The penalty would help their cause as they've just received, but also maybe getting one into the in-goal area if they can get down close enough on the last tackle to give themselves a chance to build pressure. Good ball. Good defence by the Australians. They anticipated. They can eventually shutting it down. And the determined run ending on the 20-metre line there for McCracken. Left, Jones, on, Namu, Kearney in. 22 from the Australian line. They lead 8-0. Now Namu puts a kick in. Pressure has to turn and chase and cleans it up. Good thinking by Gene Namu. Well, the markers on that occasion made up the mind for Gene Namu. They split, went straight through, put the kick through. Tim Brasher deputising back at fullback. Had no problems in cleaning up, but that's the, the next set of six that I was talking about earlier. Gives you a chance to, to build some momentum. And that's something that New Zealand have been unable to do in the first half hour of this game. Ridge taking the ball 40 metres out from the line. Van Gunnar has really put his shoulder behind the wheel. 20 metre line. That was a good run by the big fella. That swan. They're 12 out. This is their best chance. Paul. He's got this little hopping motion that he gets out of tackles with. Jones puts in a kick. And again, the Australians under pressure. And look at Brasher fly across and put it over the dead ball. And a nice kick, but not too many of his teammates knew about it. It was only on the third or fourth tackle. He got taken out. But, uh, not to worry. They're starting to build the momentum that Peter's been talking about. There's a few chances back on the inside for them. The Australian defence has been very good, but it's starting to tire a little. Well, great work from Brasher then, although he didn't get involved. Jason Smith did very well also. He turned and chased. He made sure that he had the, the upright cover just in case it bounced off. He was there. A repeat of what we saw on the previous set. Pongia taking it ahead this time. Sean Hoppy. Put down by Renoff. His defence on the left of the ground tonight has been quite solid. He's had a lot of work to do, Renoff. Some people have questioned it in the past, but tonight he's been strong. Namu through, then a run around on Jones. Ridge came in, oh, ran into the big shoulder of Sailor. And Jason Smith finishes up with the ball for Australia. 
Well, he had to come up with the tackle, Wendell Saylor, because he came a long way in and they had a two-man overlap if Matthew Ridge had been able to pass the football. Here we see running out of numbers the Australian defence. Wendell comes in, makes a decision. Both Iro and Barnett unmarked on the outside. Price. Ooh! Russell Smith not impressed with Vangana. We've got to get it. Left the ground like a missile to wrap himself above the shoulders of the Australian ball carrier. He's gone, Price. And this is this referee's got to take control. How long is he going to let them tackle high before putting someone in the bin? Now he calls out the skipper. Alan. Well, he's been playing with fire all game, this referee. There's been some cheap shots. And now we've got a boy absolutely and heavily concussed. We've got a tackle that's high. I'm not sure whether initially it's deflected off the shoulder, but we've certainly caught a man high. I'm putting it on report. Yeah, okay, Double a bit cool, later. You take into account that he's that's part of the equation, Matthew. See this this style of tackling has largely been acceptable in the old dart. And that's the aftermath of Stephen Price taking another high shot. And if you keep embracing them, somebody's gonna get hurt badly. Thorn. 25 away from the Kiwi line. They've still been unable to score points. Darren Britt. Big moment for him. One of rugby league's sloggers leads the way rather than follows. Renoff, 18 from the Kiwi line. Half time about five away. Langer. Walters, quick pass. Oh, Lockyer! Lockyer with fresh legs has put it over the line. Beautiful try. The classic Brisbane Bronco combination. Langer, Walters, Lockyer, and Australia lead 12-0. We've heard it plenty of times this season, haven't we? And that's Lockyer's first touch since coming back after that heavy tackle. It's the way he runs into the gap as we freeze it there. This defender he's not sure where it's coming from lock you straight into that hole certainly takes the defender unawares no chance of covering it up stacy jones not enough pace on the inside mccracken and lock you well, we've called him plenty of things through the season a rare talent a wonderful player he had an, an ordinary opening to his test career but he'll play plenty more well, there's no substitute in this game for speed and that's what darren lock has got plenty of he saw the gap put the ears back and away he went some ordinary defence out wide. They, they've got the uh, the centre playing inside the halfback, and they're just not reading it at all out there. Good stuff by Lockyer, and also Kevin Wallers inside him. Puts it down, looks back at the opposition as if to say, "Take that, take that indeed." And that's an enormous blow to the New Zealand side. Five out from half time. Just a reminder again, there are tickets available for the, the Quanta Skin swimming tomorrow night. We'll have it on replay for you at 20 past 10. But Ticketek have got tickets available. It's at the Sydney Aquatic Centre. As Lockyer from the 20 metre line, he's got this online for another two. The green and gold faces tell the story. 14 nil. Approaching half time, Stephen wrote. Yeah, this is where the Kiwis are in trouble. Five players on the blind side marking nobody. And Lockyer sees that, hits the ball at pace. Too quick for McCracken. Ridge can't come across. What a reply from Lockyer. 14 on the back of Gene Namu. And on the scoreboard for Australia. They're rocking and reeling now. And it would seem, although it's been the year of comebacks, it would seem we're going to North Harbour at 1-1. And would you have it any other way? Webke. Some of these players that have been failed, the third test next Friday, of course, at 8.30. 
Walters through for Tallis. Got the first try and gets the legs pumping again. 32 out from his own line. Walters away quickly for Britt. To the 40. A little bit better than that. Lovely man, this fellow, Darren Britt. Was with the Magpies, then went to Canterbury. And there he was this afternoon in the foyer of the hotel with the wife and the kids all around him, soaking up the, the adventure of wearing the green and gold. Yeah, good luck to Darren Britt. He does slog away, there's no doubt about that, but he's got that touch of finesse and class about him also. We saw through Canterbury's great run final series and the Canterbury players have learnt to get on his shoulder because he can pop one. Oh, teammate. I thought for a moment that was Jason Smith. It was. It was Andrew Johns launching into a tackle on Nathan Kalis. I was about to say teammate on teammate. Now, away from Namu, out wider for Tony Aro and then for Logan Swan. And picked up by Renault for Australia. Fair ball on the halfway. Brasher. Walters, long pass, John's out wide, then Smith to his brother Darren, crosses the halfway, Sailor, Sailor, can he unload? Yes, he can. Back for Jason, down for Langer, onto the ground as a spectator stands up in front of him. Sit down, please. God, he's a big man, isn't he? The biggest bloke at Lane Parker stood up in front of me. It was like an eclipse. It was an eclipse. Anyway, it's Namu again. Oh, smashed away by Johns and Webke. That's how big his parents are. Dropped by Arrow. Now you can stand up. Five metres into the Australian half, a scrum to pad. Trouble, is it, for Paul? He just hasn't been able to have the influence we saw from the April Test match. And I do think that they are missing Henry Paul around the dummy half area. Although Iroh has done a pretty good job there picking up some metres. As Australia kick now. Brash is offside, I think, on the kick. Brash is not going to come out of the 10. He makes the tackle. Nobody said anything. Maybe I'm wrong, but he looked in front of the kicker to me. Yeah, I thought he was a metre or two offside, Ray, but fortunately, it's not going to play any role in this last minute. Sean Hoppy tackled 10 out, although it would have given... Ooh, gee, yeah, I'm happy. We're not going to take it to court, Peter. No. Or... Kalis. Spent enough time there. Half time. Almost with us. And it's been comprehensive for Australia, at times uncomfortable, but comprehensive with two tries on the board. Rain getting heavier as Jones puts in a little kick. And Lockyer will bring it back to take the last tackle of the half. There's the siren in the background. And referee Russell Smith Calls time with Australia two tries to nil and 14 nil at the break. And that's exactly what we're about to do. And then we'll be back at Suncorp on the wide world of sports.